also love Mena Raleigh and her event tips and tricks she gives us every week. This week she is giving us a lesson in how to be a good guest. We are going in the parlor room. Hi, I'm Mena Riley with Parlor Room Events, elevating your events to their highest possible potential. How can we manage expectations, commitments, and RSVPs? Things weren't always like this. Are we getting too many invitations? Well, too bad, Mr. Popular. Here's one you can take to the bank, always RSVP. Basic etiquette says that the simple courtesy of responding to someone who is nice enough to invite you even if it's to decline, is appropriate manners. As an event professional, this is a subject I can really get behind. Why is it that with the advent of technology to make our lives easier, we still haven't been able to confirm a simple commitment? It's a frustration when it comes to events for hosts, venues, and planners alike. While calling your friends is a fantastic way to invite people to your party, some people may feel cornered on the phone. Why not put on a perfect pair of pumps and pound that pavement? Delivering an invitation in person gives you a chance to catch up, just say hello, and fill them in on specific details that may entice them to attend your event. You may not have all the time in the world to be hand delivering all your invitations, so many of us have turned to the internet. Even though it's easier to send and track invitations, it's harder to get a real commitment from people. This is a problem we can all solve, but only if we work together. I challenge everyone out there to take 30 seconds when they receive an invitation and think how great it is that they've been invited to something. That's fantastic. Next, decide if you can attend or not and let the host know. Now, onto a sub pet peeve that exists within the lost art of RSVPing. Those people who say that they're coming to your party and then don't show. Perhaps they feel they've done you a favor by RSVPing and that their commitment ends with them saying, sure, I'm in. Then your host plans for a certain number of people and voila, overspending on food, drinks, and other socially awkward moments can ensue. Think of your intentions to RSVP like a moral obligation. In most cases, it's, it's only between you and your host if you are honoring your RSVPs. But do you think James Bond goes around ignoring all his Facebook invitations? No, he's classy. And he's fictional, so that wouldn't happen anyhow. But the lesson is still there. It's not classy to not RSVP. That's it. Today's lesson is a simple one. Just like knowing that only you can prevent forest fires, only you can take a stand and decide to mean it when you RSVP. All right, it's time for Q&A. If you have any specific questions about RSVPing, perhaps you're looking for invitation ideas or ways to communicate certain aspects of your party, comment on this video or write to us at service at parlorroomevents.com. And remember to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we stuff loot bags for grown-ups. I'm Mena with Parlor Room Events, elevating your events to their highest possible potential.